hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to show you around my front yard garden and how it is transitioning from spring garden to summer garden and i'm going to plant gladiolus bulbs here is my clematis large flowering clematis in the very beginning of the front yard side border and it is doing really well this year it has got some birds on it and trinium is growing nice and thick it is starting to bloom hydrangea which i started to train as a tree form is looking good uh, roses are not looking good this year they are a bit diseased and dead i did pruning but i think they are struggling spire is looking good lush and green and it is forming its bud hollyhocks are coming back nice and thick and so as the fox loves they are doing really well hookra is looking great and complementing the green foliage really well my climbing rose which is still a big plant is trying to climb up this pole camellia is doing really well this year it has put on lots of new growth and peonies are coming acid tree is looking good and all the perennial plants are coming back nice and thick uh, tulips are done they are just handful of tulips left and i'm going to deadhead them as well and soon i'll be cutting them back as they start to yellow and die back hostas are coming back nice and thick i love their beautiful board leaves and look at this one it has got marginal yellow color with blue inside and it is really pretty here is my hydrangea macrophylla which has got lots of birds and soon blooming fox loves coming nice and thick and one of them is starting to bloom already which is a little short Box loves are normally biennial and they are good at self seeding but these box loves are coming from previous years so I don't know what's the deal here and my phlox is looking good and azelia is not looking good it is struggling this year last year it was so pretty and full of blooms but this year it has only got a few blooms and most of the growth looks dead so I'll be pruning it later in the season I'll see what I can do to make it flourish again I have got this pot next to Azilia where I will plant my fuchsia plant which I started from a cutting. So overall the garden is looking good. So I'm going to plant my gladiolus bulbs in between these spaces I have got between plants. So I'm going to cut back the tulips soon as they die back and I still have lots of spaces in between the plants. So I'm going to make holes with this stick which is like 6 inch stick. So I go round and round. My soil is nice and crumbly and it is very easy to work with. So I'm going to um, go round and round and 2 to 3 inches deep and then I'll put my gladiolus bulb in it. It is really simple. These gladiolus bulbs are from last year and some I have bought this year as well. So in total I have got like uh, 30 gladiolus bulbs which I will be scattering throughout the side border so i'll be planting it uh, root side down and then i'll cover it with more soil and i'm going to do this 29 more times so i'm done with my gladiolus bulbs and i have put them in different places in the side border and soon they will be poking out and looking good and fox loves bloom like in early summer from june to july and then i think the gladiolus will take over so in previous years i started this garden from scratch and it's been three years now and the garden is filling up really well here i have got some petunia plants which i tried to overwinter by taking cuttings and i have got a very short video how to overwinter petunia plants if you are interested i will put the link in the description box so i have got four to five petunia plants here which i am successful overwintering them by taking cuttings and there are some self-sown pansy plants so i'll leave them there and i'm going to plant them in the front side border in the places where i have got some pockets so it's again really easy just dig a little bit hole and put your root ball in it and cover with soil so wherever i have got a little bit of space in the front side of the border i'm going to put these plants in there and i think soon they will fill up as the tulips die back here are some petunia plants which I started from seed in February and they are growing nice and big and I have got this pot. I could plant them individually and this will give them more room to grow and there are so many 
box lap seedlings which are self sewn so i'm just going to dig a big hole and put the whole thing in there so it will be nice and full so these are grown from seed and you can see the difference there isn't much difference in the ones that i overwintered and in the ones that i started from seed so i guess you can try both ways growing petunia plants however you can multiply your petunia collection by taking cuttings during the season as they root really well and you can buy few plants and you can multiply your collection by taking cuttings so i have got a full video how to root petunia cuttings i will include the link in the description box so i'm going to plant this whole thing in here for a much fuller look so this is my fuchsia plant which i started from cutting and it's in its third year now after i started it from cutting i kept it in this container for two years and it's nice and big now so i can fill up this pot i think with this fuchsia plant and i think it will look good fuchsia plants are semi evergreen so they hold on to their leaves until late winter and then they start growing new leaves and drop the old leaves uh, some of the varieties are hardy and some are not so they are grown as annuals we live in zone 8 here you can most of the fuchsia plants do survive here so i'm going to plant here sometimes it may not survive so it's always a risk and i guess uh, we can always replace it with something else if it doesn't survive here is my middle circular border which I cut in the middle and it planted alliums around it and lavender and it is looking really beautiful alliums are growing nice and big and absolutely beautiful lavenders are filling up and soon they will be blooming so i'm loving this uh, circular border and i hope the alliums naturalize here and soon this border will be full of aliens and a uh, lavender hatch around it i do uh, throw these seeds of marigolds here so if they germinate they can fill up for the rest of the season cherry marola tree is doing good and it has got lots of food set on it here is my cherry stella tree which also has got a lot of food set on it last year we only had one cherry and it was so delicious and this year i will be having more cherries my plum tree is doing good growing nice and big it is loaded with food and i need to do some thinning on it here i have got this big container where i planted a camellia plant which had lots of birds and it dropped all its birds but now it's blooming again which is weird to bloom in may and i'm going to fill this container with these petunia plants which i recently bought and they are pink uh, magenta pink i guess uh, so i'm going to fill up the spaces between fancy plants with these petunia plants and hopefully it will be a good show during this summer so there are six petunia plants which i planted around the uh, rim of the container and there is a snapdragon which is coming back from last year so hopefully it will look good snapdragon blooming and petunias around it i have got these containers lined up with the wall in my front yard and anemones are doing well some of them are fading and dahlias are growing and ranunculus have started to bloom as well they are absolutely beautiful and cheerful I have got these more petunia plants which were sent as a free gift from Sutton's and they are looking really beautiful and I'm going to plant these in my dahlia containers. So I have got two dahlias in each container and I still have lots of room so I can fit one plant in each. So I'm done planting these petunia plants which are looking really really beautiful. I planted three containers with one petunia plant and in one container I put two petunia plants and they're looking good and these were sent as a free gift because they featured one of my videos in their blog where I talked about overwintering petunia plants and I guess this is a really precious gift. Very thankful to them. I just wanted to show you this very narrow strip where we put the gravel and you can see all the alizam plants are self sown here so the seeds were blown by wind and now it is filling up with alizam plants which i don't mind at all i think it will look really beautiful if they fill up the whole strip and this is an extra reward of gardening like plants are self sown and you can enjoy their beauty without any effort so the garden is transitioning nicely from spring to summer 
the spring lush which was due to all the tulips and the puddles has faded now but soon the aliums and foxgloves will take over and roses and hydrangeas will be blooming and it will be nice and full very soon so keep watching my gardening vlogs for regular updates on how my garden is doing and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos thank you very much for watching today see you next time bye